Greetings, I'm Professor K, and welcome to this short course overview for Server 2012R2 Hands-On Training Part 2. Be sure to take a moment to look over my short bio, and if you have any questions, you can reach me at information at cyberoffense.com. And now let's get into this course overview real quick. First off, labs are going to be built using VirtualBox. Now that's the hardware emulator that I'm using for this course. You can use VMware, Hyper-V, or you can do a dual boot. I have no preference, but I build all the videos and all the labs using VirtualBox. And that's the only emulator that I'm going to support in this course. All links for software and ISO images are provided in the lab files. Now for this course, you're going to need to create one virtual install of Server 2012 R2 Standard, one virtual install of Server 2012 R2 Core, and you're going to need one virtual install of a Windows 10 client, but it can be Windows 10, Windows 7, or Windows 8. Everyone should complete Section 2 of the course before making any final purchase. If you can't complete, for whatever reason, the building of your virtual lab environment, then please do not purchase the course. This is a lab diagram that outlines and describes in detail how your virtual lab environment should be built. It provides all the IP addressing. It provides all the details that you need to be able to create your virtual lab environment. This course is broken down into sections. You're currently viewing section one, which is the course overview. For section two, you're going to be building your virtual lab environment. And for section three, you'll be looking at PowerShell. Section 4, we get into managing shared resources. Section 5, we look at remote desktop services. For Section 6, we're going to look at secure remote access using a VPN and RDP. For Section 7, we're going to look at Windows Firewall administration. And for Section 8, we're going to be looking at monitoring server 2012 R2. Section 9, we're looking at Windows Deployment Services, WDS. And Section 10, we get into certificate services. For section 11 we're going to be looking at operation master roles and in section 12 we'll get into disaster recovery and section 13 we're going to be looking at IIS and section 14 is your bonus section. As a minimum you should have a host machine with a preferred operating system of Windows 7, 8, or 10, though you can use a Mac or even a Linux machine. But Windows operating system is the preferred host machine for this lab environment. You should have a minimum of at least 4 gigabytes of RAM, though 8 gigabytes is preferred. When you're running more than one virtual machine on top of a host operating system, things can get pretty slow with just 4 gigabytes of RAM. You're also going to need a system BIOS that is capable of supporting VT plus X virtualization. That's going to be found up inside of your BIOS or your settings for the system. As soon as you boot up your machine, you see a message that says to enter the settings or to enter setup, press F1, press escape, press delete, whatever it tells you on that screen. Now for HP users, your BIOS is has this setting for the virtualization automatically disabled. So you will have to go up inside of your HP BIOS and you will have to enable VT plus X virtualization and you'll probably find that underneath the advanced settings. To get the most out of this course you should have at least one to three years of experience working with a Microsoft and or Cisco networks. You should have basic knowledge of operating systems, networking principles, IP addressing and DNS. This course is dynamic which means that more lessons will be added over time. This course has already bloomed to having so many lessons that I'm thinking I'm seriously considering a part three for the course. You also have a lifetime access to the course. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on the course overview for Server 2012 R2 Part 2. Now, if you have any questions or concerns about any of the information that is provided for you in the course, please do not hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.